In this lesson, we will learn how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. We will begin with converting fractions to decimals. Now you may already know that the fraction 1 quarter is equal to the decimal 0 0.25. One way to make the conversion from the fraction 1 quarter to the decimal 0 0.25 is to treat the fraction as division. So 1 over 4 is the same as 1 divided by 4, which we can write this way using long division. Now when we carry out this division, we get the decimal 0 0.25, so we know that this is equal to 1 quarter. Similarly, to convert 5 sixths to a decimal, we can think of the fraction as division and divide 6 into 5. When we do this, we see that 6 does not divide into 5, but it does divide into 50 8 times. So when we multiply 8 by 6, we get 48, which we subtract from 50 to get 2. At this point, when we drop a 0 down, we see that 6 divides into 20 3 times. So when we multiply 3 by 6, we get 18, which we subtract from 20 to get 2. Now it's important to note that we already got 2 the last time we subtracted. So we can expect to continue getting the same results from this point on. Here's what I mean. If we continue along, we drop a 0 down here, and then we can see that 6 divides into 20 3 times. When we multiply 3 by 6, we get 18 again, and from here we subtract 18 from 20 to get 2 again. So as you can see, this pattern will continue forever. So we can say that the decimal equivalent of 5 sixths will be 0 0.83333 and so on, where the 3s continue forever. The bar over the 3 signifies that the 3 repeats forever. Now on the GMAT, we will want to avoid performing lengthy calculations involving long division. One way to avoid this is to memorize the following conversion table. For example, using this table, we can see that 0 0.25 is the decimal equivalent of the fraction 1 quarter and vice versa. Now you might notice that some of the decimals here feature these squiggly symbols. These symbols indicate that a particular decimal is approximately equal to the corresponding fraction, but it does not equal the fraction exactly. For example, the decimal equivalent of one-third is 0 0.33333, where the threes repeat forever. So the decimal 0 0.333 is the approximate equivalent to one-third. On the GMAT, these approximations are all you need. Now if you can memorize the base conversions on this table, you will be able to make other conversions with these. For example, to convert 3 fifths into a decimal, we can use the fact that 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. So if 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2, then 3 fifths should be 3 times as large. In other words, 3 fifths must equal 0 0.6. Similarly, to convert 2 sevenths into a decimal, we must first recognize that if 1 seventh is approximately equal to 0 0.14, then 2 sevenths must be twice 0 0.14, which is 0 0.28. Now please note that since 1 seventh is approximately equal to 0 0.14, we cannot then say that 2 sevenths is exactly equal to 0 0.28. So we need to write this with the symbol for approximation instead. Finally, to convert 4 ninths into a decimal, we can conclude that if 1 ninth is approximately equal to 0 0.11, then 4 ninths must be 4 times 0 0.11, which is 0 0.44. Once again, since 1 ninth is approximately equal to 0 0.11, we can only say that 4 ninths is approximately equal to 0 0.44. Okay, now let's reverse the process and learn how to convert decimals to fractions. The steps here are as follows. First, find the place value of the last digit of the decimal, and then write a fraction with that place value as the denominator. Here's how it works. To convert 0 0.35 to a fraction, we first need to find the place value of the last digit, which is 5 here. Well, we can see that 5 is in the hundredth position. So at this point, we remove the decimal point and insert the number 35 in the numerator of our fraction. And then we insert the place value in the denominator. So 0 0.35 is equal to the fraction 35 over 100. At this point, we can simplify the fraction by dividing top and bottom by 5 to get 7 over 20. 
so the decimal 0 0.35 is equal to the simplified fraction 7 twentieths. Okay, let's try another one. The last digit here is 4, and we can see that this digit is in the thousandths position. So to write this as a fraction, we ignore the decimal point and insert the number in the numerator of our fraction, and then insert the place value in the denominator. From here, we can simplify the fraction by dividing top and bottom by 4 to get 1 over 250. So the decimal, 0 0.004, is equal to the fraction 1 over 250. I'll write one last conversion. Here, the last digit is 2, and this is in the millionths position. So we can write this decimal as the fraction 22 over 1 million. From here, we can simplify the fraction by dividing top and bottom by 2 to get 11 over 500,000. So the decimal 0 0.000022 is equal to the fraction 11 over 500,000. All right, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned that we can convert fractions to decimals by using long division or by memorizing the following chart. And we learned how to convert decimals to fractions by first identifying the place value of the last digit in the decimal.